Hey ladies, it's me Pretty Witty 77 and this is going to be a Your Questions Answered video. I made a video asking you to ask me questions about myself. I thought that I was going to get all hair related questions but y'all want to know about me and I'm willing to give that to you to a certain extent. So let's go. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Are you married? No. My question. Do y'all have brothers who are cute? God-fearing, very, very ambitious. Uh, you can be established, not established, but has a goal in life with no children. Show them my video. <laughs> Where in Texas are you from? I'm not from Texas. I am from Jackson, Mississippi. I've been living in Texas uh, since February 2012. And I live in Austin, the capital of Texas. I come from the capital of Mississippi, Jackson, and I live in the capital of Texas, which is Austin. If you see me around, say what up. How do you stay motivated to work out? Believe me, it is not easy at all. Um, it was so much easier last year because I feel like I was on the schedule. This year, man, my schedule is all over the place. It's not easy at all. I'm currently on a schedule where I work out every other day. Um, with, with me working overnights and being that I work out in the morning, it gives me time to go home and go straight to sleep on some days and experience life in the afternoon. And it gives me time to work out in the morning and do stuff in the morning and sleep the evening away. Although it's really hard for me to pull myself up and go to the gym, I think it will be much harder for me to accept the fact that I let myself go after I've come so far. What tips do you have on saving as a young independent person? I feel like you need a minimum of three accounts. You need a savings account. You need a check-in, which is the account that you were most likely to be paying your bills out of. And you need a spending account. That really helps because you get to put money up, even if it's like $20 every time you get paid or every time you get whatever you get allowance. Then you have your account that all your bills come out of. Then you have your account that you ration out to yourself and say, okay, I have this much to spend every week. I only put so much in that spending account. Don't touch your bill money. It always saves. So it helps me a lot. If your YouTube crush asks you out on a date, what do you think y'all will go on y'all first date? Who asked this question? <laughs> okay, knowing me, if we go out on the first date, we're going to eat. What you thought? We're going to Papa Do's. We're going somewhere where some seafood is involved because I love seafood. How often do you do the witty workout and how long does it take to see results from it? Um, I do the witty workout when I don't have time to go to the gym or I don't want to go to the gym or something hindering me from stepping out of my house and going to the gym. It's a in-home workout and all of the ab exercises that are targeted towards the abdominal area, I do that on, I alternate that on my days when I work out every other day. So, you know, when I'm working that region of my body, I will do the ab exercises featured in that video. What is the name of the protein powder you use to make your smoothies and your waffles? I really don't have a specific brand, but um, this is what I've been using lately. It's Body Fortress. And I got this from Walmart. It's like $17 or something. Lasts a really long time. But it's in it's strawberry flavor. It's not all about what you like. Because I had to try a couple to figure out what tastes good to you. Who is your man crush? <laughs> Which one you want? <laughs> um, you got I got Nas, uh, Morris Chestnut, Columbus Short, uh, Michael Jordan, not the basketball player. Pretty much the Browns and the Blacks. I am delivered! Team Apple or Team Android? Hmm? What are helpful tips on staying alone? Pay your bills first. Even if it's not due and you know you have your account number, you can always put money in that, you know, account or to that bill. You can always up pay. Because at least a certain amount. Because if you have that money now and you wait on the next paycheck, why not just go ahead and get a little bit out the way so the next paycheck you won't be splurging and spending and just topping off all these bills. Like always put your bills before you put shopping, before you put anything else 
put your, I don't know if y'all kids, y'all got kids, but put your children in your bills first before yourself, everything, before food. I can't be, I can, I can eat, but I'm not going to be eating no dark. For my young single women who are living alone, you can go on days, go on as many days as you want to, but do not bring everybody back to your house. No. Always meet them there. You can go on dates, meet them there on two separate cars. He ain't got to come pick you up. Like, especially when you stand alone, you don't have no roommates, you don't have animals, you don't have anything. Always meet them there. Unless you've known them for a couple of months, I would not be bringing anybody back to my house. Every date you go on, make sure you get information. I, sometimes I get license plate. I want first and last names. I always send that information out to a relative or somebody close to you. So if anything happens, they know, you know what I'm saying, who the, the last person who you were with. I always be, I'm very cautious. People think I'm so secretive. Like, even when I leave from, like, if I go out on a date, I never come straight back to my house. I don't know if I'm being followed or not. Like, and I've been living by myself for years what six seven i've been living by myself for a lot of years and you have to be careful as a woman in today's society it's crazy and that concludes my your questions answered video for my non-hair related questions i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and you have a blessed day